What's up y'all, Savari Tech here and today I'm going to show you a very simple way to install TeamViewer. Um, it is so simple that even Coco Melon himself could do it in his sleep. So let's get straight to it without any further ado. Um, I'll open this to show you what we're working with. This link is in the description of the video. So it leads you to my GitHub where I have everything we'll be using today so you don't really need this um, just make sure you have this link that's in the video um, copy it go to your Linux machine if you're already there then you're good and open the terminal you can do that with control T I believe um, and then shift insert um, before you do that type git space clone and then paste it I'm using my Mac right now. It doesn't have an insert key. I don't think so. Um, so I'll just right click and do that. So when I do that, it downloads this folder from my GitHub and puts it on the desktop, right? All right. So you open this folder, and a lot of you already know what I'm talking about, but I just want to make it simple for the people who are, might be new to this. So um, you open terminal here, and once you are there, you type in sh and you type this file name in. If you hit tab once you start typing it, it auto completes for you. So you hit enter, it's gonna ask me for my password and type it, enter again. And this script literally does everything for you. Um, you might wanna keep an eye on it because at some point it's gonna ask you to confirm some things by saying why as in yes and as in no things as such but um yeah like i said even coco melon can do that thing um just watch it you know so it's here it's asking me the default action is to keep your current version i'm not gonna uh do anything otherwise i'll just say yes enter that should work for you and I believe we are in business um, let's check here our panel here um, and I'm gonna type in team team viewer yep it's already installed and ready for use um, since I already know um, the ULA and all that I'll say yes but you might want to read it yourself if you want to so that's pretty much it. You have things are up and running. Um, before I close this video, I want to um, say that you can open this. Um, you can pro open this script as well that you cloned and run it line by line. Don't don't run it. Run this one. Run it here, 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 here. Pretty much every new line that has a text in it you can run it line by line in the terminal but I don't know why you would want to do that if you just want to do install simply um, also uh, one thing I will be doing with with every single one of my videos is give you a couple of scenarios where this could be useful of course if you already know Team Viewer and that's all you needed you can just end the video right now but um, a couple of scenarios I've used that is if I have my Kali machine at home and I want to access it from 100 miles away, um, I can use TeamViewer and with that, just enter the credentials that if you set up, um, if you set up, if you go to options somewhere in security and you grant easy access, you set up your email and password, you can pretty much access your machine anytime. Um, from anywhere around the world as long as you have a strong internet connection and a device to do it. Um, you might want to explore that, play with it a little bit and figure out what works for you. Or on the opposite side, maybe you have your Kali uh, machine with you and you want to access your normal Windows PC or MacBook. You might uh, be able to do that just using um, your Kali machine. Um, insert your partner ID your password that you memorize and yeah that's pretty much it so just makes life simple um, and easy for you 
thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe like the video if you did enjoy that and i'll be coming up with more content like that